Children has found major inadequacies in child protection throughout the state. A report published today found that most parts of the country had no 24 access to the child protection notification service. The Ombudsman, Emily Logan, found there to be a lack of consistency of approach, a failure of interagency collaboration and a lack of internal audits and external investigation. Another report on child protection in Ireland, another indictment of failures by public bodies. It's been 11 years since the introduction of national guidelines on child protection, known as Children First. And this report found that during that time, an internal audit of case files has only taken place once and in one part of the country, in Cork and Kerry. There are 32 childcare managers and offices throughout the state. But the report found that there was a lack of consistency of both approach and responsibilities. A key failure is the lack of 24-hour access to the Child Protection Notification Service in most parts of the country. Families and children can move from county to county. At the moment, those systems do not communicate between counties. So it's possible that a family moves from one county to another and the professionals working in that other county may not know that that child is at risk. We want to make sure that there's a system that communicates nationally within uh, the professionals working in the HSE and also external to the HSE. There are guardi involved, there are nurses, doctors, teachers, professionals who need to know that a child is at risk. The report also found that in Dublin, Wicklow and Kildare, important records such as initial assessment of children at risk and garden notifications have not been completed because industrial relations problems between the HSE and impact have not been adequately resolved. These are guidelines and they need to be put on a statutory basis. There should be no question that our national guidelines in relation to child protection should be um, implemented on an ad hoc basis. They have to be statutorily put on the statute book so that we must, our health boards, all the agencies dealing with children must implement them. The HSE is currently undertaking a strategic review of child protection services. The Ombudsman's report says that that review should consider whether or not such services are best served within the context of the HSE or by an alternative dedicated child protection body. Anne-Marie Smith, RT News, at the Office of the Ombudsman for Children in Dublin.